Hey guys, welcome to the next part of this uh, solved question paper video. Let's take a first question of the uh, video today. So what is given? Tan theta equal to 2 by 3. Find sin theta plus cos theta. So tan theta is given. We have to find sin theta and cos theta. We know that tan theta is what? Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. That is given as 2 over 3. So let's write down a right angle triangle. If this is a theta, if this is a theta, this is an opposite, right? The opposite is 2 and this is adjacent. Adjacent is 3, right? Now, what we don't know, we don't know the x. Let's find the x value. How to find x value? See, the Pythagoras says the bigger, that is Pythagoras, the, that is hypotenuse, the bigger square is equal to smaller square plus smaller square. So, x square equal to 4 plus 9, that is 13. So, x will be equal to what? Root 13. Is it correct? 2 square is 4 plus 3 square is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. So, x is equal to root 13. So, the x value is root 13. So, what we need? We need sin theta and also the cos theta. We know sin theta is what? Opposite by hypotenuse. So, this will become 2 by root 13. Isn't it? Next again, if I calculate the cos theta, cos theta is what? Adjacent upon hypotenuse. So, what is an adjacent here? 3. 3 over root 13. Now, what we have to calculate? Sin theta plus cos theta. So, sin theta plus cos theta is equal to 2 by root 13 plus 3 by root 13. Root 13 is an LCM because both sides is a root 13. So, I can just write it as root 13. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. So, what is the solution? 5 by root 13. Now, let's go to the next question. Hey, uh, the question is given as what? Tan A plus tan B plus tan A tan B is equal to 1. They have asked you to find what is the A plus B value. They ask you to find what is an A plus B value. Where A and A and B are some angles. See here, I have the question as tan A plus tan B plus tan A tan B is equal to 1. Does it sound uh, somewhere familiar? Tan A plus tan B plus tan A tan B, right? See here, where do I know this? I know the formula tan of A plus B is equal to tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan B. That sounds something like this. But in the entire question, I cannot find A plus B value. That means the tan of A plus B should be equal to 1, right? If I consider tan of A plus B is equal to 1, I'll assume tan of A plus B is equal to 1. So, A plus B value should be what? 45 degree. Because tan 45 degree is equal to 1. So, if I take A plus B value as uh, 45 degree, so what will happen to the question? So, I'll take it as tan of 45 degree is equal to tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan now tan 45 is how much? 1 is equal to tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan B. Let's send this number here, this component here. So 1 minus tan A tan B is equal to tan A plus tan B. So if I send this term that side, so that I will get it as 1 is equal to tan A plus tan B plus tan A tan B, right? This was the given question, is it? So now we can directly say A plus B as what? 45 degree, okay? Let's move to the next question. What is the next question given as? Tan of 1 by 2, sorry, tan A is 1 by 2, tan B is 2 by 3. They are asking you to find tan of A minus B. So, we know the formula tan of A minus B is equal to, what is tan of A minus B? Tan A minus tan B over 1 plus tan A tan B. So, tan of A minus B they are finding. So, let's find out tan of A minus B. Tan A, what is tan B? 1 by 2 minus 2 by 3 divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 times 2 by 3. 
So let's solve this. We have to take an LCM. This into this, this into this, this into this, right? 3 into 1 is 3 minus 2 into 2 is 4 over 3 into 2 is 6 divided by. Again, if I multiply this, 1 plus 1 into uh, 2 is 2 over 2 into 3 is 6, right? So I'll take this as 3 minus 4 is how much? Minus 1 by 6 in the numerator. In the denominator, 6 plus, if there is nothing means divided by 1, right? So 6 into 1 is 6 plus 1 into 2 is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 over 6 into 1 is 6. So if I cancel this 6 and this 6, x, I'll get 1 by minus 1 by 8. So what is tan of A minus B? Tan of A minus B is minus 1 by 8. Is that cool? Let's move to the next question. What is given? Root of 1 minus cos 40 divided by 1 plus cos 40 degree. So we know the formula 1 plus cos theta is equal to what? 2 cos square theta over 2. We have made an entire video. Please go and check it in our playlist. And also we have 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin square theta by 2. We made an entire playlist about the trigonometry. Please go and check it. We have made an, uh, a video on important questions on trigonometry and there is uh, entire video dedicated to explain these formulas and how to solve questions on this. Okay. Chala. Now let's substitute this back into this. So root of 1 minus cos theta. If theta is there here theta by 2. If it is 40 degree it will become what? 40 by 2 that is 20 degree. If you have 60 degree here it will become what? 60 by 20. So what I am saying is 1 minus cos 40 t will be equal to 2 sin square theta by 2 now 40 by 2 is how much 20 degree in the same way 1 plus cos 40 degree will be happening what 2 cos square theta by 2 theta means what 40 40 by 2 is how much 20 degree so let's take that so 1 minus cos theta is in the numerator so 2 sin square 20 degree over again 2 cos square 20 degree right I can take 20 out so this will become sine square by cos square I can write it as a sine 20 degree by cos 20 whole square isn't it sine square cos square right sine theta whole square divided by cos theta whole square and there is also under root this under root and square get cancelled I will have sine 20 degree upon cos 20 degree sine by cos is what tan 20 degree. Right? Let's go to the next sum. What is given? Sine plus cos plus sine minus cos. We know the formula that cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta minus sine theta is given as tan of pi by 4. Tan of pi by 4 plus theta. Isn't it? Now, if we just change the symbols or just alternate the terms, that is sin theta plus cos theta over sin theta minus cos theta. Sin theta plus cos theta divided by cos. We just have to take negative common. So, minus tan of pi by 4, minus tan of pi by 4 plus theta. Is that good? Is that good? Yes. Now, now see here. We have sin theta that is sin 12 degree plus cos 12 degree divided by sin 12 degree minus cos 12 degree. Sin cos sin cos sin cos sin cos. If sin cos sin cos are there, what can we take? We have to use this formula that is minus tan of pi by 4 pi by 4 plus theta that is how much is theta let's take it as 12 degree so we'll just convert this pi by 4 so minus tan pi by 4 means how many degree 45 degree so 45 plus 12 this will become minus tan 7 plus 1 57 degree is that good yes okay hey guys if you like the way that we teach, please support us by liking this video and also commenting what is your doubts. We'll uh, try to solve your doubt by comment section itself. If it is necessary, we'll make an entire video explaining your doubt. And also don't forget to share this video with your friend as well. And we have an entire course that is a video course. The link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe this channel that gives us support and energy to do more videos like this. Thank you and all the best.